Hudza, my friends, and welcome back to Let's Play Twilight Princess Minimalist Run, Part 37. Last time, we healed Midna, and now we're finding the Master Sword! I'm sorry, Team UDF, I just had to do it. I had to! Ah, I'm Vegeta for no apparent reason. I don't know why I'm so angry today. Anywho. <laughs> you don't want me to reveal your secrets. <laughs> so, uh, where the flood was I going? I need to go in here. Yeah, sure did. Somewhere. Of the sorts. Flood. Why can't I remember? Anything? Getting lost. It's, af it's as if these are the lost woods or something. Oh man, see what I did there? Hey, it's cold, kid. Eat death. How do you get a head start like that? <laughs> I wish I could teleport all over the place. Then I can create plot holes. <laughs> Alright, it's cool, kid. It's your games. You need to reveal yourself eventually. So I don't get mauled by these freaking puppets. Grass I can cut or eat. So let's go through here. All right, that looks like a place. Oh, get out of here! I'm just curious as to how how well I'm going to be doing on that puzzle that'll come up eventually, though. Kind of nervous. You know what I'm talking about, Amber? Sure. Yes. Eh, I think you'll remember by the time we see it. Oh. And, uh... Time to have our duel punishment. with the skull kid. Shooting it a little. Okay, I need to hit him while he's doing that. Okay. So I need to play the waiting game with him for a bit. Those things are so creepy. Hey girl. That'd be a nice funny edit to do for a creepy pasta or something. Like, can you imagine that? <laughs> Be like skullkid.exe or something. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, though. I think sonic.exe is so stupid. 
supposed to be this dumb, like, creepypasta where Sonic comes after you in a game of hide and seek or something and he's got bloody eyes or whatever. And I don't know. I, uh, sometimes I just really don't get the appeal of creepypasta. Uh, now, I will admit, I do like Ben Drowned, even though it is fake. for me anytime soon, Skull Kid. video or it'll take a while I don't really know I'm hoping it's the first option <laughs> because I'm not going to lie when you have something like this standing between you and the master sword it just annoys you <laughs> I'm sorry it's like, why do I gotta do a stupid freaking mini game before I Blade of Legend's Bane, or Evil's Bane. Come on. Okay. Okay, so it's all come back to you. Like, why would have they ever done this before? No, not from what I can recall. I swear, these things kind of remind me of the Starmen from Earthbound. Like seriously, they they look. Their figure reminds me of the Starmen from Earthbound. Maybe it's just me, but... So everything was fake? <laughs> okay, so essentially... I think the game will speak for itself. If crap like that doesn't happen. <laughs> Yeah, whenever you go one way, two statues go in a parallel direction. I probably messed this up. So <gasps> to you too. Belly bump. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've got this down nice and bread. I hope. Nope, that's not quite what I was going for. Or is it? Find out in the next episode of Dragon. No. <laughs> We're gonna say Dragon Ball Z. Yes. <laughs> down wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all, Kitty. Oh my god. And the music is so annoying, too. I can't even hear it. It's like, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. He's so retarded. Well, this song is retarded. <laughs>
If this does take a while, I will most definitely consider putting in a music montage. <laughs> Too long. What was the point of all that? Science. Like, did other links have to go through that? No. Go oh, now. Oh, oh, secret oh, base. Secret base. Yes. Yes. Real passage to the secret place. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's go and get a prized possession. And the end of our wooden sword run, sadly. I'll talk more about that as we pick it up. So prepare yourselves, folks. It's time for the Blade of Evil's Bane. It's so pretty. Oh, man. It's so shiny. So golden. that thing. So, so let's grab it. It's time to get the master sword! <laughs> that was beautiful and you know it. <laughs> yeah. The sword accepted you as its master. Well, of course. Duh. The freaking hero, son! <laughs> Shush it. So this thing is the embodiment, um, embodiment of the evil magic that Zon caused, cast it on you. So, it's definitely different from our tribe's shadow magic. Careful, if you touch it, you'll turn it back into a beast. This thing is too dangerous. It's probably best if we just leave it here, huh? But on the other hand, if we kept it, you might be able to transform into a beast anytime you wanted. Yes? Yes, since Zant was kind enough to give this to us, we should be able to be... We should be thankful and use it all we can. If you need it, just call me. I want to keep a low prof profile, so I'll hide in your shadow when you're human, but I can change you whenever. Hold on just a second. Okay, so after addressing the elephant in the room, you can be a wolf anytime you like. Also, thanks to this thing, you can warp wh wherever you want, whenever, by switching into wolf form. And, but hey, listen, Link, I've got a little favor to ask. Would you mind coming with me to find something called the Mirror of the Twilight? It's hidden, it's hidden somewhere in Hyrule. Yes, the Mirror of Twilight, our last potential link to Zant. Alrighty. 
City. Well, I'll talk more about what happened with uh, Warden Sword in the next part. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all then.